hi guys uh, welcome to another uh, tutorial uh, about uh, the installation uh, uh, the installation is about uh, installing MySQL on uh, Linux or any Unix uh, using generic binary toolbar uh, we will discuss uh, MySQL installation using binary toolbars and I will install MySQL 8 uh, on CentOS uh, using uh, the binary toolbar uh, binary toolbar based installation uh, has its own pros and cons uh, we will discuss that later installation from uh, binary toolbar is like uh, it's independent of the uh, Linux uh, distribution or uh, the init system uh, the distribution uses okay so this means uh, that the same installation method uh, works on RPM and dead base system for example uh, but uh, it will also work on uh, more exotic distribution like gen 2 as well so uh, there is a binary toolbar uh, for mac os available too and the installation procedure is not much uh, different uh, this method needs like more manual work because you have to create all the users and uh, the directories and all that and some symbolic links for that <coughs> so uh, before in MySQL 5.7 uh, we used to have MySQL uh, dash install dash db script but that is uh, not anymore uh, in MySQL 8 we use MySQL D uh, to initialize our database or empty database and it will create all the uh, what do you say all the directories and everything uh, using MySQL D so let's get to work and uh, let's start our installation first uh, I will download our uh, uh binary toolbar and uh, let's uh, let me give you uh, from where we can download uh, our mysql uh, come here once you visit mysql.com uh, visit downloads and here we are going to obviously having a community version which and here uh, let's mysql server uh, i will have it for red hat and i'm using centos 7 so red hat 7 and at the end uh, this one this is our tarball uh, we are going to download this one and just copy the link and uh, let's uh, download our uh, uh, this uh, tarball so i'm using curl to do that uh, minus l uh, minus o sorry minus l and minus o and copy paste uh, paste the link so this will download my uh, tarball uh, so once the tarball is downloaded uh, then uh, I will uh, pause the video right now so once this is done uh, I will get back to you guys hi guys so our download has been completed and uh, and let me uh, now uh, install uh, sorry uh, remove the MariaDB libs uh, because uh, uh, this will uh, may create some conflicts so uh, let me remove this so once this is removed uh, we will untar our tar file and this will take a little bit of a time so once this is done uh, we will uh, I will enter the file and okay okay so this is done now uh, this is our file this is our tar file which I have downloaded uh, let me uh, untar this file and uh, uh, we have a uh, few more file in this like uh, we have a test and uh, mysql tar file and we have mysql uh, uh, router as well but uh, what we need is uh, uh, I need to untar only the MySQL uh, server file and I will untar this file in uh, slash uh, uh, usr slash toggle of the root and let's do it uh, we got okay so MySQL 8 and I will copy this uh, to 
uh, slash usr slash local so here i would like to untar the file okay tar minus x set okay sorry uh, dot gz this file i want to untar so once this is done uh, this will take i think around 30 seconds or one minute okay now this is done uh, we need to uh, uh, install our uh, uh, lib aio package uh, sometimes uh, it's not available uh, in few of the uh, distribution linux distribution but i think i have this but still uh, because uh, this is necessary uh, you have to install this and i think i have this one lib aio yeah it's already installed uh, to the latest version but in case you don't have it uh, you have to install this okay so let's do it uh, I, uh, currently i have to add my mysql group and uh, i have this uh, uh, my okay let's uh, add mysql group here and this one this has been added and let's check if uh, mysql group has been added uh, now uh, I, I have to create uh, add it to, to the mysql and we are i'm giving it uh, the false because uh, uh, we don't need to log in uh, to my because the user is not required only because the user only required for the ownership purpose not login purpose so the user add command uh, uses minus r and minus n and uh, slash pin follows uh, options to create the user uh, that does not have login permission to your server host so uh, if you uh, want the user to log into your server, so you can omit this minus r minus n and this uh, slash bin false because uh, I'm I'll be using the uh, root user to log in, and mostly on the organization uh, they use this uh, uh, this way uh, to create the MySQL user. So that's why. Oh, let's check now. So our uh, user is now available or not? So yes, uh, here our user is available now, and. Uh, okay so now uh, I will create some uh, directories uh, for our MySQL and okay so let's create our MySQL uh, but before that uh, I will have to create a, uh, our this uh, symbolic link for MySQL okay so let's go to slash usr uh, this is where I uh, untarred my MySQL this one this uh, this is where if you see the date and time and let's create a symbolic link uh, at his same here okay so if you ll uh, my sql so this is a symbolic link i have created you will be using this my sql uh, as a symbolic link and okay so now let's create uh, our files here just a minute uh, let me do it at once so I don't need I don't have to do it uh, one by one so it's make the process fast okay so here it is uh, we have the mysql files here this one and uh, let's change uh, let's change the ownership uh, the modes and permissions and the ownership of the and then create a mysql uh, log file and let's change this one as well okay and so now we have mysql log mysql files and mysql symbolic link so this is done now and i have to create uh, my uh, configuration file uh, which will i will be using it uh, let's create our configuration file my in my U etc slash my dot cnf and i'm using giving only the log error file and data directory and base directory uh, uh, that is enough for this i guess yeah so my sql d and this is uh, this is what uh, i will be using and this is enough uh, we don't need a client currently so if uh, i am leave the client empty or if i don't want to even uh, don't want to create this uh, section so it's it will still uh, enough for them for us let me clear the screen okay so uh, this is done and let's go here 
to this location mysql it is actually it's going here but it, because it's a symbolic link so this is enough for us so here uh, will you either you can go to bin uh, what i'm going to do is i will be initializing it and i'm giving it this uh, default file because when i initialize it this uh, this default uh, configuration file will be used okay so let's initialize okay so we have a uh, few errors here uh, the error is that mysql log i think uh, the permissions permission seems to be fine uh, okay is not able to find open this file okay so the reason is i guess uh, i got the reason uh, okay so let's open this uh, tc my dot cnf the file location seems to be okay, this file location seems to be fine what could be the issue no such directory uh, okay okay yes cd dot dot pwd ll cd mysql sorry So the location is this is my location and I get I knew it because I have done something wrong with my location so let me edit my location my or CNF okay let's edit this location it's not inside this okay now it uh, okay so let me see if this has been changed or not because I uh, open it in two files okay so this is changed now uh, it won't issue any error right now okay so this is uh, okay I have to go to uh, go back and go to mysql and then again uh, run the same command and this should work now and we will initialize our mysql because uh, uh, it went to the error and uh, it was not uh, uh, creating the file uh, because it has uh, uh, because the directory was not available there so let's uh, tell my error log uh, this should uh, give me uh, our temporary password so this is our temporary password which we will be using for our first time login but before that uh, we need a uh, few things uh, to take care of uh, we will i will create uh, another uh, i will create the uh, mysql server uh, 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 what is the execution files to mysql initialization uh, to the current to the system uh, initialization uh, uh, directory so we can use the uh, system ctl uh, uh, to start and stop the server so okay so this is done uh, we have been provided with our this uh, okay so this is uh, where am i now uh, here so let's copy it here okay so this has been copied and okay uh, now let's create our symbolic link inside this user slash bin because uh, if you go here uh, to bin uh, we have our all the execution executable files like binary files so i am going to create uh, this symbolic link uh, for the root user so it will be available inside this user slash bin if i do ll slash mysql so this is uh, available at the users usr slash bin slash mysql but it is pointing here to this file so whenever i uh, 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 use this mysql command it will be pointing here so i don't need to set all every time the environment so this will uh, help us to get the thing easy 
okay so now let's uh, log in uh, to mysql okay and the password we get hi at this is the password we are going to use okay okay so the password something is wrong here let's see okay another password uh, another error we are getting here the temp slash shock cannot log in i don't know what is the issue okay the issue is uh, <laughs> it's good that we are running into this file because uh, the socket file is here uh, but uh, we haven't uh, started our uh, mysql server so <laughs> in order to do that uh, i have to start mysql server because mysql server is not running so let's uh, start uh, mysql server uh, i think it, this should be like this uh, mysql t okay uh, SQL D start yeah so now it's starting uh, our MySQL server has been started now uh, if you run into something error like this uh, you should know like what is happening so now let's do it uh, it should work now don't worry it will work because now if you see our MySQL server is up and running and it has connected to this socket file so this socket file is now available uh, this one as well that is the X protocol and this uh, socket file is available now so this is the our password okay so let's do it uh, sorry sometimes this uh, get us into problem I don't know okay so now uh, we are able to connect to our MySQL server so this installation has been done and everything is settled and uh, uh, let me change our password here uh, let me change the password okay so okay so this is how uh, you can change your password uh, if you want to use this password into inside your uh, configuration file uh, then this is how uh, you can do it uh, like I want to user uh, okay user to be root and the password which I did all uh, provided is uh, this password not so secure to okay so this is my password okay and let's uh, uh, let me uh, restart my uh, server so that it can take effect this should uh, do the job Okay, so this is now down and it started and I have to it my sequel okay so now because this I did this uh, just because if you I see I just typed the my sequel I just did this because to let you know that uh, this is the configuration file uh, which I am using uh, and for the rest of uh, uh, this uh, for the rest of this installation my sequel will be using this uh, configuration file if you want to do any changes to your configuration file you can do it from here uh, okay guys uh, so the installation is done uh, if you have any uh, problems uh, in your installation uh, let me know in the comments uh, i will reply to your comments and you can also ping me on my linkedin profile uh, and that's it guys for today please uh, like and share and subscribe uh, please like it because uh, the youtube algorithm works on the like basis uh, to bring our videos up and thank you so much guys that's it for today.